where do I start? Morning everybody. Ashes pick, but he's still not out because we've back. First place that we went to. Nothing. Second place that we went to. Nothing. And the third place that we're at. Nothing here as well. But I know Rusty and um, Bradford Magnet Man have been here before. And they pulled a quarter of a car out. Funnily enough, there's another part of the car in the canal. But it's like the complete front half. There's only about four of us here today that can try and pull it out and it's not budging. It's got the wheels on it, it's got the front engine in it. No, it's not happening. And that's just over there. So unfortunately that's not happening. Well my journey started crap this morning. To travel here, it's about an hour and a half. It turned into near two and a half hours because the M6 was shut. So I've ended up going the opposite direction on the M6 when I got to the end of my motorway, which is the M55, going all the way up to Lancaster, which is another 20 odd, 27, 30 mile away, to come back down, to come back up here and go on the A roads, and then get back on the M6 further down past Preston. Absolute nightmare to get here this morning. And that was at 7 o'clock when I set off. Didn't get here till about 10. Joking. But I don't think there's going to be much of a video today. I've had nothing out at all. But I'll show you the front end of that car if you want. But there's Dan. Paul's over there. Neil's here. Tracy's back in the car. Neil's packing. And Neil's packing up. But that's the complete front end. All four of us have been on it, and it's not budgy. So, steering mechanism and everything. So it must be a local chop shop place for a car. Oh no. But wheels are still on it as well. Crazy. But yeah, not a good turnout today. And probably the world's shortest video. <laughs> but my, my thing saying two and a half minutes. So that's probably how long the video's gonna be. But we'll see. We might go somewhere else again. I don't know. I best I don't smoke on video because I'll get kicked off won't it? But yeah, so don't forget, if you go to online magnets, if you want any gear at all, add everything to your basket, go to your basket, go down to add a discount code, put Blackpool Mag in it, uh, and that will get you 10% discount. And that's it. Happy days. Right, thank you and see you later. For now. Right, we moved for the fifth time. But we moved, we've seen a post on Canal and River Trust UK uh, about the local boaters complaining that they can't get through the Ashton Canal because of uh, trolleys, what have you. So we were in the area, so we thought we'd nip down. We've only been here about 15 20 minutes. That's trolley number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight trolleys, maybe nine trolleys. But yeah, find another scaffolding bar. Me personally, I've had that post out, key post that you've removed so people can't park on the streets. Had that box of some sort, I don't know what that was. A piece of steel there, that clip, bit of armoured cabling, fence barring. Uh, that scaffolding tube there, all these here, wheel clamp. Look at that. What did my last video have in it? Owl. Another owl. Twit to it. As you can see, we're just not stopping at the moment. Road signs, microwaves, old shelving. More scaffolding bars, trolleys. Me and Ash, when we first, because Ash has come as well today. There you go. Hello. He's popped down to say hello. He's not magnet fishing to he's back. 
but we found an old piece of wire with a wire a bit of rope on it and we used that as a graph walk and we pulled the first two trolleys out between us i'm on with the trolley wires now there you go doing all these bloody trolleys all these different ones we're filling them all in now and getting them all moved but just look at them bars b m's trolley pulls down there he's pulling stuff out again Another road sign. So yeah, because we'd seen it on Canal and River Trust uh, Facebook group, we thought we'd, we was in the area, we were about half, uh, 15, 20 minutes away from it. So we thought we'd pop down, try and clear it for him. And we've not even got down to that bridge down there yet. And apparently that bridge has got a lot more stuff in it. And Neil thinks he's onto another trolley. So we'll leave it running for a minute and see what it gets. There's a lot of bubbles coming up, so I'm going to say it is a trolley. Oh, he's come off it. Bagger. There you go. He's going to get his grapple up and see what he gets. What's the chance that it's another trolley? But at least the boaters will be happy. He's on it. He's off it. <laughs> Lawnmower's just come out by Tracy. Hey. It's a what? Is it? Yeah. Bloody hell. We use them at work. What, a floor polisher? No, not a polisher, a sweeper. Right. It just has a little thing on the top. Yeah. Flips all the shit into it. We have them at work. Right. We're pushing along. We've got cans. We want about 300 quid. Yeah. Crazy the stuff that's coming out here today. There it all. It was a good move. Right. Leave you with that. I'll just show you this floor sweeper thing that our Tracy's just had out. We don't want to film that one. There we go. Industrial floor sweeper. Crazy. Yeah, she had the scooter out before. More trolleys. James and Rainy there, was uh, James and Russ. Oh, nearly got his toes then. Alan trying to get me toes. So yeah, there's a lot coming out. So it is late in the day, so we'll do as much as we can and probably come back to this area again to try and clear it for the boaters. Right. Get back to you in a bit. I've took my gloves off. I've took my gloves off to video it. Teamwork, me and Neil. No, there's no teamwork involved. And that sign I just pulled out as well at the same time. But if somebody can identify that. Yeah, if someone <laughs> can identify that growth on the side of it. It looks a bit like octopus legs all it's over on, it. It's on this bike as well, man. Is it? Oh, come here, come here, come here, come here. What have we got? What have we got? Come on, come on, come on. Look at that! Oh, that's a big crab's leg, isn't it? Lobster claw, isn't it? Hell! Crayfish claw. Crayfish, lobster. Who knows? A big one. Seen that, Dan? Right. Get back to you in a bit. Right, I was just having a last couple of chucks before I set off because the motorway's still closed. 
I've gone and pulled out a bike that I used to have in the early 80s, which is called a Grifter Rally. Not much left on that. And Neil, if anybody remembers, had a Tomahawk before. So, so yeah, happy days. But yeah, had a load of stuff. Signets, as someone just said. They managed to keep them alive, haven't they? Mum and Dad. Give them your four off. I'm surprised it's still in there. <laughs> You've walked past it enough times. <laughs> There we go. Paul's over there at the moment, grinding all the scaffolding sheaves up. We had a few more shopping trolleys out, bits and bats. But yeah, paid off in the end. Right, I'm going to start to pack up, because like I say, it's coming off now, because the M6 is still shut. So the junction, panel off that. Um, it's saying about two and a half hours travelling time. So I'm going to set off now, it's half half three. R4, R5, getting on for near 6 o'clock when I get home. So, everybody, thank you again once again for watching. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Don't forget, hit the like button. The more likes you do, the better it is for me. Right? See you all again next week. See you later.